Hi, that's right, Hadian here. Getting near to the holidays and uh, our reactions to the uh, changes that we are going through, I thought it's important to talk about it, especially at this point when we have socio-economical problems, issue with regard to people struggling with uh, uh, issues with uh, money and uh, job and uh, problems then get more intensified. Now, one of the things we have to keep in mind is that there is a uh, genetic background to each one of us that has been somehow in a way programmed as far as how our nature, how our emotions are uh, kind of set and they begin to react and the problem begins to show itself in people around us who are very close to us like family members wife husband mother father cousins sister people who are around us and they're they are part of us and they probably have the same they're coming from the same pool of the uh, gene and chromosomal uh, 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 programming as ourselves, they begin to react and demand uh, from us when we are showing our problems that that is not in our hand. Like basically, if uh, someone near the holidays, because the holidays is a big stressor. The stressor is kind of like pushing us to the edge to then get us to uh, begin to express our problems. So our problems are kind of like, I, I think, genetically kind of like back there, all programmed, all set there. And then we have a stressor, which is like a holiday, Hanukkah, Christmas, all those kind of like uh, holidays, these big, big ones that it's been kind of hacked into our brain chemically and emotionally and psychologically so when we hear holidays are coming it kind of like uh, uh, exhibits itself by by uh, all the pro all the history and all the memories that we've had how we've been raised how we how uh, we lived how we lost our money how we got into jail how we got uh, uh, divorce, how we got uh, uh, promoted, how we got married, uh, how uh, our loved ones uh, died, how uh, we lost our job, how we got a good job, all of those are going to be uh, accumulatively in the uh, brain system uh, expressed and uh, tingled by just hearing holidays are coming. So then uh, obviously, we have uh, this uh, th uh, threshold that we have, uh, and then we begin to express problems, conflicts, depression comes up, people get manic, people have uh, more uh, obsessive preoccupations, people get irritable, you're driving in the streets, people are dancing in the car and beeping and honking, going crazy, not being able to control their feelings, lots of fights are going to come out. Lots of issues and conflicts are going to be uh, um, expressed itself because because of this stress uh, point that is being pushed by just hearing the holidays. Now, holidays is not a bad bad time, but the brain gets it differently. The brain system begins to react with the stressor as the stimulation of this system, and then the brain begins to excrete chemicals. These chemicals and this serotonin, these all these uh, uh, big words that I don't want to discuss it right now, just being expressed in the brain cells, and then the memories, the centers for emotions, centers for uh, anger, centers for obsession, centers for uh, all the emotional expression are going to be kind of uh, tingled. So because of that, we begin to react differently during this time of the year or whenever it's our birthdays I mean we begin to react differently too that's another stressor but because of the holidays we have to understand 
we begin to react uh, in a way that we are in our own threshold, all of us. So then people around us begin to, to then uh, give us lectures, why are you like this, why are you acting like that, are you crazy, why you don't you calm down, why are you so angry, why are you irritable, why don't you uh, concentrate, what's wrong with you. These kind of comments unfortunately are the environment comments towards us as biological units, we don't, we don't have control over that and then unfortunately causes more problems. So one of the things I am uh, suggesting is that because of uh, each one of us having a different genetic background and expression of our, ex of, of our uh, feelings in this kind of situation, in, in, uh, in uh, situations like the holidays, the people around us, which you know, we, are, we are going to be those people that we are around, the person who's having problems and anxiety and depression and anger and all that, shopping, shopaholics and alcoholics and going gambling and expending money and going, going uh, uh, uncontrollably uh, in different kind of situations. So we have to be careful not to demand that the person who is having problems to change right there because that's not something that could be changed. It's like demanding somebody who's having a flu and is having fever and is sneezing and is coughing to say, hey, calm down, why are you doing that? Just be nice. What's the problem? Why are you sneezing? Why are you having fever? Why are you sweating? Calm down, be nice. Have your etiquette. This is a main issue. This is going to cause more bad memories that is going to be accumulated both psychologically and chemically in the brain of a person who's having conflicts which is exacerbated by the holidays and then express itself next year in a worse manner. So we have to be more accepting, we should not argue, we should not be demanding, we should let it go, we should just think, listen, that's it. No discussions and back and forth and pull and, pull and push. If somebody is honking behind us, we shouldn't get out of the car and then uh, uh, curse the hell out of the person. We just have to be understanding. It's a bad time. People are stressed, frustrated. Just let it go. Then we don't get shot. We don't get problems. And we don't get worse for the next holiday. I'll talk to you later. I hope we, uh, all of us have a good holiday.